You think this thing is gold? Wrong. It's even more precious than gold. And the key is, even if you have the money, you might not be able to buy it. In fact, one second in the international unit system is defined based on the atomic vibration frequency of this thing. This thing is cesium, an alkali metal. It's so reactive. Drop it in water. Boom. It explodes instantly. The reaction is so fast, even your cousin wouldn't have time to run before it goes off. Thinking of pulling it out for a photo? Forget it. The moment it touches air, it starts smoking. And if you're unlucky, it might even self-ignite. Normally, it has to be sealed inside an inert gas container to keep it stable. Even crazier, its melting point is lower than the temperature of your palm. Just hold it gently, and boom, it turns into flowing liquid gold. Cesium is ridiculously rare in the Earth's crust, only three parts per million. What does that mean? Well, aluminum is 80,000 parts per million, iron is 50,000 parts per million. Even though cesium has slightly more abundance than gold's 0.004 parts per million, it's still incredibly hard to extract, and its geographical distribution is scattered. So it remains a top-tier precious metal. Even though it has a bad temper and is tough to handle, cesium is no showpiece. Cesium salts can create super high density liquids in water, even denser than some rocks, heavy enough to hold down pressure in oil fields. Under low temperatures, cesium-based alloys can even act as superconductors. In material science, this thing is elite. The most amazing part, it defines the second in our everyday lives. That's right, one second equals the time it takes for a cesium atom to oscillate. Between two energy levels, 9,192,631,770 70 times. Since 1967, this has been the official definition. How accurate is it? It would only be off by one second every 30 million years. Every GPS satellite has an atomic clock. It measures distance using time differences. If we replaced it with a basic quartz clock, your GPS might show you in Guangzhou one second and in Huizhou the next. Even though cesium itself never won a Nobel Prize, it has helped cool atoms, blow up reactors, and find time itself. It's the behind-the-scenes workhorse of many Nobel winning projects. If there were a Nobel Prize for best supporting element, it would absolutely go to cesium. Subscribe if you come science background.